Hey everybody, Belover911 here once again for an RPG Maker XP tutorial. This time I'm going to be going over a set move route, and there's a lot that you can do with this. So this may be a two-parter if it takes too long. But um, I've shown you in my basics tutorial the autonomous movement. Um, fixed means it doesn't move at all. Random means it moves randomly around the map. Approach means it moves toward you and custom lets you set a custom move route and when you click on that it brings up the set move route page but you can also access that through event commands so if you go to your event commands and click set move route yeah, it brings up that page but on this you can uh, make it affect the player the uh, the event itself or any other events on the page now each map has its own set of events, so event 1 on this page is different from event 1 on one of my other maps. So, um, I guess I'll go ahead and start with this. Um, when you have it affect the player, it takes away the control that you have over your character. So, um, I usually use that for cutscenes when I don't want the player to have any control over it. Where I want, um, where I have it set as an auto run, so you don't have any control anyway. Um, when you have it set to this event, it'll only affect the event that um, that your event command is set on, or you can have it affect any of the other events on the, on the map. So I'm gonna have it set to this event because this is Bob. He's gonna be helping us again. And yeah, so I guess I'll start. The first four here are move down, move left, move right, and move up. These are basic movement commands for a set move route. So let's say you want him to move in a circle. So you have him move downward, have him move to the left, you have him move up, and have him move right again. So, because this is on parallel process, it will automatically cycle itself, so it's always continuous, which is what parallel process means. It automatically happens, and it keeps repeating itself. But, if you have it set on anything else, here at the bottom, there's this uh, part labeled as options. If you click on repeat option, it puts it in a loop. Um, the other option is ignore if it can't move, which means if, um, let's say, there's an event blocking this because events can't cross over each other or um, they can't move past the player unless you have it set to uh, through or um, yeah so if there's something in the way and this won't move then it will cancel all of this out but so I'll give you a little peek at what this looks like oh Sorry about that. Take repeat action off. This should work. If not, then I think this is a bug with RPG Maker XP because I've seen this happen before. Yeah. Um. Well, anyway. Um. Let me try this again. It might be because it's on parallel process. Or it could be that I have the autonomous movement on custom. <laughs> I'll go to set move route. Move down, move to the left, move up, move right, and repeat action. Actually, I'll take repeat action off. And Oops. It's affecting my player now. <laughs> um, this is kind of something you have to mess with yourself. So, put it on this event. I have stop animation on, that's why. Um, stop animation makes him move in place. So, with any luck, this will work now. Sorry about this, guys. Well, anyway, you get the basic idea of what this is supposed to do. 
So I'm just going to create a new event because this one's all messed up. Soldier 1, rename him Bob. Okay. So, anyway, um, the next four are move to the lower left, move to the lower right, uh, move to the upper left and the upper right. These will move uh, the event diagonally. So, I think now that I've created all of uh, a new event, everything was set back to the defaults, so it's on action button right now. And there you can see. that when I click action button on him he moves to uh, diagonally how I set it up so the next thing on here is move toward player now this is the same as approach um, in the autonomous movement uh, it says type and one of them is called approach that makes this uh, event move toward the player same thing the next one is move away from player. Now this is the exact opposite. It makes him walk away from the player when um, when he approaches. So for example, if you have a um, let's say you have a little mini game where he's supposed to chase this guy, and um, you want to have to catch him, so you hit move away from player, and now he's running away from you. So there's an example of what you can use for this. The next one is uh, one step forward, and that will move the event or the player, whichever one you have selected. Um, it'll move the event uh, one step forward in the direction he's facing. So if he's facing to the left, he'll move one to the left. If he's facing to the right, he'll move one to the right. Um, one step backward, this will move him backward without changing the direction that he's facing. So it would be the same as clicking on um, direction fix on, or if you have direction fix um, on the side column under options in the uh, event itself, you have direction fix on and you have him moving, um, let's say you have him moving up when he's facing downward, so it looks like he's moving backward. But this button will make him step backward automatically. The next one here called jump, this one's really cool. Um, when you click on it, it brings up this little window that has X plus and Y plus. And if you haven't seen some of my other videos when I'm explaining this, X, uh, positive X is the X coordinate. And um, positive X will move you to the right, negative X will move you to the left, negative Y will move you upward, and negative Y will move you downward. So let's say you want him to jump back. So um, what I just selected was uh, Y negative 1 and have it on action button so when I talk to him he will jump one backward talk to him oh I have it on the player you see when I talk to him I jump one backward and if I want to uh, stay forward uh, facing downward I guess um, you would put it on direction fix so Keep in mind that whenever you make a new move route, you need to set it to whichever event you want it to have. I always forget, and then have uh, I end up going having to go backward, uh, back to this page and switching it to the event that I want. Um, they've included weight in this uh, in this screen, which is the same as the weight in event commands, but they've added it in here so you don't have to keep uh, setting something on here. Go to weight on the event commands and then having to come back and put in your next uh, you know your next movement so they've included in, that in here um, the next four the first four on the second column turn downward turn left turn right and turn up will make the event or the player turn without uh, changing its position 